Hi there, this is Rob Kelly from the Thrive Programme on and from a Metaphobia Expert. And I'd like to share with you some findings via some slides of a recent research survey we undertook via SurveyMonkey, asking people what they thought, how they felt about being sick, what they felt towards being sick. And there's lots of research out there for people that have a fear of vomiting called a metaphobia knowing what they think and feel about being sick. But there's very, very little research out about what normal people, as in people without emetophobia, feel or think towards sickness. So this short research survey, it's very simple, was aiming to find out some of these things. 1,646 people took part. Just under 300 of them were male meaning just over 1,300 of those are female. And around about 300 of those, 297, actually had emetophobia. So I've taken them out of the results, taken them out of the quizzes, because they don't want to know what they think or feel towards it. We already have that data. So I've taken the 297 people with a fear of vomiting out of the quiz, so we just get an idea about what people with normal attitudes towards vomiting think and feel about it. So that leaves us with 1,345 participants, of which 275 were male and 1,070 were female. So this first question then is about whether you mind being sick or vomiting if you need to. And this is both male and female together. I don't mind being sick. I don't mind vomiting if I need to. As you can see, the majority of people don't mind being sick if they have to. They don't mind doing it if they need to. Very, very few people, only about 22% of people strongly disagreed with that. 22% of people strongly disagreed with the idea that they would mind being sick if they needed to. Number two then, if I felt sick, I'd just be sick. I wouldn't try to avoid it. The vast majority of people agreed with that. Again, less than 10% strongly disagreed. That means less than 10% of people would try and avoid it or put it off if they could do. In relation to the question, is vomit itself disgusting? As you can see, 50% of people agreed. A few more, another 15% strongly agreed. But I think it's safe to say that most people do agree that vomit in itself is disgusting. It's not a very nice thing. It doesn't look nice. It doesn't smell nice. Very few people strongly disagreed. Very few people strongly agreed. Majority of people think it's not a very nice thing. I then ask the question of being sick, is it just a normal bodily function? Is it no big deal at all? Again, the vast majority of people completely agreed with 53%-ish agreeing, another 14% strongly agreeing, 28% disagreeing, but a very small number of people, what's that, about 6% think it's more than just a normal thing. One in 20 people think it's more than just a normal thing. Someone mentioned to me once that I'd rather have a vomiting bug than have the flu. So we asked that question, as you can see, twenty two per cent of people agree with that. Another four per cent strongly agree. The disagrees are forty five per cent, but the strongly disagree is only about twenty eight per cent. Only twenty eight per cent of people would strongly disagree with that. They'd rather have the flu than be sick. We made the statement, I feel better straight away after being sick. Straight away you feel better. And the vast majority, 58% of people agreed. 9% strongly agreed. 30% disagreed. And a very, very small proportion, I'll make that about 3.5-4% strongly disagreed. Only 3.5% of people strongly disagreed that they feel better straight away. Very, very small amount. 
This was a slightly wrongly asked question, so I apologise about this. It's supposed to be a scale. But we asked, how unpleasant is being sick? And as you can see, the, I can't even see that small with my glass. Was that 2%? So it's not unpleasant at all. 32%, a little bit unpleasant. Almost 60%, so really unpleasant. But again, very, very few people, 8%, think of it as the worst thing ever, the worst thing in the world. Every single day I worry that I might be sick or catch a sickness bug. 71% of people strongly disagreed. 23%, 24% of people disagreed. A tiny number of people agreed. What's that? 3%. And maybe 2% strongly agreed. So the vast majority of people, that's 70, 80, 95% of people completely disagreed with that. 95% of people don't worry on a day-to-day -day basis about being sick. And it's to show you that we took out all of the emetophobes in the quiz. You have that there, it's question nine. Question 10 was really just finding out how much people, whether people actually heard of emetophobia. Now do, don't forget that this was shared principally on my Facebook page. I have lots of friends that have, uh, have had a fear of being sick. I've got probably a few thousand followers currently that have emetophobia, so it's not really a um, fair grouping in the population, but it, um, it's still really pleasing to see that you know up to 55% of people have heard of it. The research says that actually most doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists have never heard of it. To be fair, I'm spouting out about it every single day on my Facebook page and Twitter feeds, so I'm not surprised that friends and friends of friends have heard of it. But it's still quite shocking, even amongst my friends, to realise that 45% of people have never heard of it. Yet it's probably the biggest phobia in the world. And then just looking at the gender split that I talked about earlier. So what I wanted to do then is just have a look and see if there were significant differences between the gender split. So here's the first question again. I don't mind being sick, vomiting my need to. I'm sorry, it's male on the left, female on the right in all of these. Male on the left, female on the right. You can see that more males strongly agree, more males agree. But with the females on the right, uh, uh, almost twice the number strongly disagree and 50% more disagree. If I felt sick, I'd just be sick. I wouldn't try to avoid it. Again, men on the left, women on the right. About twice the number strongly disagree for women. The disagree is about the same. There's not much huge difference with the agree. And there's a marginal increase for men strongly agree. So again, the only huge difference is in the uh, the fact that getting on for twice as number looks like twice as number of women strongly disagree with that. That's still a very small amount. It's only the difference between five and ten percent. So the vast majority of people that didn't have a fear of being sick, if they felt sick, they'd just be sick. Wouldn't worry about it that much, very much at all. Let's crack on with it. Very low percentage of both sexes would try to avoid it. The vast majority would just get on with it, do what they could. We stated that vomit was disgusting. About, ooh, within about 1% of the sexes strongly disagreed. In terms of disagree, more men disagree than women. In terms of agreeing, uh, an extra 5 or 6% of females disagreed. And then in strongly disagreed, a few. So again, within the main population,
women generally think of vomit of more disgusting than men. And we know this, women have far more disgust propensity than uh, and sensitivity than men do. We stated that being sick is just a normal bodily function, it's no big deal at all. I'm sorry about that there. And the vast majority of men agreed, and slightly less women agreed, but again, it's not a huge difference. Both sexes tend to see it as a fairly normal bodily function, with slightly higher percentage of women disagreeing. We said, I'd rather have a three-day vomiting bug than the flu. And more men disagreed with that than women, strangely. On our survey, slightly more men disagreed, five, six percent disagreed, and yet strangely more agreed and more strongly agreed, but you'd agree they're pretty similar across the sexes there. I feel better straight away after being sick, again very similar, slightly higher in men, agreeing to that, again we know that men have less disgust propensity, How unpleasant is being sick? Questions obviously asked in a different way, so more women are going to think it's really unpleasant than men do. Men see it as less unpleasant than women. Again, comes back to disgust propensity, disgust sensitivity. In terms of every single day, I worry that I might be sick or catch a sickness bug. Again, pretty similar in the normal population. Slightly less men than women uh, disagree and strongly disagree to that. Again, that can be answered within disgust propensity and um, disgust sensitivity. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope this shows the vast majority of people don't really think of vomiting and being sick as the worst thing in the world. Most people feel better straight away after being sick. The vast majority of people don't worry on a daily basis about being sick, don't think it's terrifying, don't think it's horrible, just get on with their lives. A few, quite a low percentage of people would avoid it if they could. But the vast majority of people see it as a normal bodily function that you just have to get on with and get on with your life. I hope you find this helpful. More information can be found on emetophobia.co.uk. Thanks very much.